for your whole life they tell you that you need like a TI-84 and all of a sudden now you don't even get like a TI freaking one. Why is this so awkward? And in pattern folding, you can't... What's up YouTube? My name is Connie and today I'm going to be sharing how I studied for the DAT, the dental admissions test, in five weeks. I've been asked this question a lot recently on my Instagram at the Pharma Dental. So check it out if you guys have any questions on pharmacy life, pharmacy school, pre-dental life, anything like that. So just a little background, I am a pharmacy student that just applied to dental school. Yes, I know I'm crazy. Basically because of the timeline of where I was with school and the semesters and when I wanted to apply to dental school, I had about five weeks to study for it in between my last winter break. Something super important to keep in mind before you start studying is that what works for you with school might not work for you here with the DAT. The DAT is like a completely new beast of its kind, so you're gonna basically have to get used to adapting and constantly reflecting on how you can improve just because it's a completely different test than what you're used to. And that's just what makes studying for this so fun. So every day I studied for around 12 to 14 hours. Yikes is right. But in the end, I think it did pay off, so definitely work hard and you'll be proud of your results in the end. Now, I know that my stats aren't exactly SDN worthy. I didn't get any 28s and any 30s or anything like that, but I got the scores that I was happy with and felt like I could apply in time with. So my academic average was a 21. On the sciences, I got 20s. On reading comprehension, I got a 26. Math, I got a 21, and then PAT, I got an 18. So phase one, learning the material. Now you wanna get through this part as quickly as you can because the real learning happens when you're practicing questions. So try to learn the material ASAP Rocky. All right now, pause the video, get your cutest little notebook, and get ready to write the stuff down. For bio, I used Cliff's AP 3rd Edition Biology. It was like a free online link, kinda sketchy. I used that to learn the basic biology, and then after that, I took practice tests from DAT Bootcamp and DAT Destroyer. Now I'm gonna be talking about DAT DAT Bootcamp and DAT Destroyer a lot in this video. So DAT Bootcamp is this online subscription program where they give you practice tests, online courses, anything that you would need, like full length practice tests. This is the most important tool in my opinion before taking the DAT. So I basically logged on to DAT Bootcamp all day, every day, like 24 hours a day basically. That's gonna be your go-to. DAT Destroyer is this notebook of like a million orgo, chemistry, and biology questions that are notoriously really hard but really, really good at preparing you for anything that you could see on the DAT. If you wanna score really well, this is kind of a necessary thing also. So for biology in total, I use Cliffs, DAT Bootcamp, and DAT Destroyer. For chemistry and orgo, I use DAT Bootcamp because they have these online courses that basically retaught you everything that you would need to know for chemistry and orgo. They're called Mike's Video. He goes through this lesson plan and at the end of each video, he has these practice questions. So if you print out this online notebook basically that DAT Bootcamp provides, they have the practice test in there so you can take it as you go along and it's awesome. With that, I also use DAT Destroyer to practice the questions for chemistry and orgo. Now for the PAT section, which is the perceptual ability test, I just use DAT Bootcamp because they have these awesome practice tests, practice games, anything that you would need to learn. They even had like these online courses on how to do the PAT section. So I basically just use DAT Bootcamp for that. And for reading comprehension, I just didn't use anything to study it. But I'll go into tips on how to succeed in that section as well. Now phase two is practicing the material in the last two and a half weeks. Okay, if there is anything that I could have changed about this experience is that I would have not waited until the last two and a half weeks to practice because you only have five weeks, so Personally, I would have started practicing after the first week. I know that it might be overwhelming at first because you might feel like you don't know anything, but trust me when I say that you learn so much more from practice and the answer keys than you do from just reading the material. Another tip in this practice section of the last two and a half weeks is really use those DAT bootcamp subject specific tests to hone in on what you need extra help with. So for example, I never understood Henderson Hasselback, never did, never will. Kind of did for the DAT actually because I had to. But that was always a subject that really just didn't vibe with me. So the last two and a half weeks, I used the DAT bootcamp chemistry specific acid base section to take more practice tests on that specific subject. So that way I was ready for even the subjects that I was weak in on the DAT. All right, now I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty on how to succeed on the specific subject. So for biology, the key is to just know everything. Read as much information as possible because the more words that you see, the more you'll be able to look up some terms, teach yourself a little bit more, and the more you'll be ready. Because the biology section can really test you on anything 
thing. That sounds a little bit intimidating, but trust me, it can actually be kind of fun to study biology because instead of doing problems like with orgo and chemistry, you basically just get to read like a bunch of Wikipedia pages and it kind of counts as studying. So skim cliffs, then dive right into the DAT destroyer and DAT boot camp, like I told you guys. And then from there, you'll know which topics keep coming up and then you can go back to your cliffs and read more about that. That way, instead of just blindly spending forever reading cliffs, hoping that maybe one of these subjects will be on your practice test, you'll actually have your practice test and know what to reference it to. You want to make sure when you're studying for the DAT overall that you're just being as specific as possible and really hitting those high yield questions that always get asked. And yes, it is important to know which worm is segmented and which worm is not. I swear to God, if I ever have to know that material ever again, I will actually be so upset. Now the key with chemistry is basically being able to computate in your head without having to use a calculator because surprise, they don't give you one. For your whole life, they tell you that you need like a TI-84 and all of a sudden now you don't even get like a TI freaking one, I know. But the DAT kind of makes it easy for you guys. You just have to know how to basically divide by like 10, 100, move some decimal spots. It's not gonna be too bad, trust me, but definitely get that quick math ready in your head. Now the key with Orgo is being able to predict those reactions. So one of the reasons why DAT Destroyer is great is because in that notebook, it has this list of different pathways and reactions from start to finish that if you memorize, you're basically golden. So memorize pathways and reactions. Now for reading, I know I said that I didn't really study this section, but I do have some tips to do well. Number one, practice reading fast because they're gonna give you this long ass paragraph and you're gonna basically just have to know how to sort out which information is important and which information is the answer. There is so much fluff in all those paragraphs and it's designed to kind of trick you that way so that you don't know what is specific and what's important. So just get good at reading long paragraphs and knowing the gist of everything. So different authors have different attitudes on things and that really affects what is the right answer. So make sure that you're kind of getting a sense for the tone and how the author feels about everything. Next is math. So with math, the key is being able to do those problems as quick as you can. Your first time around, make sure that you're doing the questions that you know as quick as you can, just get them done. And then for questions that will take you like more than a minute, come back to them. Because the thing is, at the end, if you have enough time and you're still stuck, you can basically just plug and chug different answer choices back into the question and figure out which one's the right one. So just do the ones that you know first, bang it out, and then plug and chug. Also memorize that equation sheet that I told you guys that DAT Bootcamp has because that was super helpful. And last but not least for the PATs, I feel like some sections of the PAT are more innate than others. So for example, like the angle measurement section, cube counting, um, hole punching, those you could kind of know how to do without reading instructions. Whereas some things like top front end and pattern folding, you kind of have to know how to do because it's a new way of visualization and you need to know the rules and everything. So DAT Bootcamp is great because they should really sponsor me for this. They have these online classes from this guy, I forget his name, but basically he teaches you the ins and outs and how all the little tricks on all of the DAT, PAT sections. And one last thing, I totally understand if you guys are out there feeling completely overwhelmed, feeling like you don't have enough time or you're not getting the scores that you want. I was once there. I literally had so many mental breakdowns, but at the end of the day, it was worth it. And I completely believe in you guys. If I can do it, then you can totally do it too. Let me know if you guys have any questions or need any motivation or pep talks because I totally have you on that. So that's all my tips and tricks for you guys today. This is part one of a video series. Catch the next video. That is honestly so rude of that color. Look out for part two coming out. That's gonna be how to really maximize and use those different resources that I talked about. I brushed upon it a little bit, but I have a lot more tips on using Cliffs, DAT Destroyer, and DAT Bootcamp. Follow me on Instagram at The Pharma Dental, where I'll be posting clips from the end of pharmacy school. I'm on rotations right now, and my whole pre-dental application process, going on interviews, all that fun stuff. And let me know if you guys have any questions in general about pharmacy school or pre-dental life. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next video.